The Chamsuri 2 class fast attack craft of the Republic of Korea Navy, or shortly ROKN, is a controversial naval vessel. For some, it is an innovative approach to modern naval threats, while for others, it is just a fruit of an archaic tactical thought. As the weapon detective, we are now investigating the Chamsuri 2 class and the merit of these completely opposite perspectives. The Chamsuri 2 class is defined as a patrol boat killer medium rocket, shortly PKMR by the ROKN. It is a suitable definition since the patrol boat term also includes paramilitary missions. However, South Korea designed this vessel for naval engagements and the Chamsuri 2 class cannot be described as a missile boat since it carries guided rockets, not anti-ship missiles. So it is indeed a killer patrol boat with rockets. From this perspective, the Chamsuri 2 class is innovative. Yet, designing a rocket boat instead of an unmanned surface vessel is an ancient philosophy for many naval experts. Before analyzing these claims, let's look at the history and features of the Chamsuri 2 class. The second battle of the Yampian paved the way for the creation of the Chamsuri 2 class. On June 29, 2002, one North Korean patrol boat crossed nearly 5 kilometers of the northern limit line a disputed maritime demarcation line in the Yellow Sea between the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the Republic of Korea. Naturally, the ROKN sent two Chamsuri-class patrol boat killers to intercept it. Then a second North Korean vessel also crossed the northern limit line. The situation rapidly escalated and turned into a full-scale naval clash. The North Koreans unexpectedly opened fire. The 85mm guns of the North Korean SO-1-class vessels scored a direct hit on the wheelhouse of the PKM-357. So, the ROKN sent two additional Chamsuri-class patrol boat killers and two Puhan-class corvettes to the area as reinforcements. During the engagement, one North Korean vessel was severely damaged. Now, heavily outnumbered and taking casualties, the North Korean retreated across the northern limit line. The heavily damaged PKM-357 sank while under tow. The ROKN initiated a comprehensive study after this battle. The Chamsuri-class patrol boat killers and the Puhan-class corvettes, which participated in this engagement, were designed in the late 1970s as a part of President Park Chung-hee's naval shipbuilding program. The Chamsuri-class was an all-gun fast attack craft while the Puhan-class was an anti-ship missile equipped corvette. Even though they were updated several times, these vessels were now obsolete. So, in 2003, the ROKN initiated the Patrol Killer Experimental, shortly PKX program. According to this program, a 500-ton missile ship called PKX-A, which would replace the Puhan-class corvettes, and a 200-ton patrol boat called PKX-B, which would replace the Chamsuri-class patrol boat killers, would be built. The ROKN prioritized the PKX-A vessels, which would become the Yun Yuanha class. The first ship of the class, ROKS Yun Yuanha, was launched in 2007. The PKX-B, which would become the Chamsuri 2 class, would be used against the North Korean fast attack crafts and air cushion vehicles. Initially, the ROKN considered the 2.75-inch guided rockets on these boats. But after a careful assessment, it was decided that these rockets would be insufficient. So, Seoul tasked the LIG Next one to develop 130mm guided rockets in 2013. The first Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killer was launched on July 28, 2016 and commissioned on October 30, 2017. The ROKN does not give individual names to these boats but only pennant numbers. Initially, South Korea planned to build 24 Yun Yuanha class and 16 Chamsuri 2 class vessels. Later, Seoul cancelled the last six Yun Yuanha class ships and decided to increase the number of Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killers to 34. Until the end of 2012, all 16 boats of the first batch Chamsuri 2 class were launched. 12 of them were commissioned. There is no official declaration for the beginning time of the construction of the second batch. Unlike the other modern fast attack crafts, the Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killers do not have a stealthy design. Thanks to the automated systems, including the latest combat management system, it can be operated by a smaller crew than the previous Chamsuri class, 
which has a 31 person complement. It is known that the first boats experienced some engine problems. Some sources claim that there was a defect in which seawater flowed into the engine due to design flaws. Also, others assert that the increased weight of the ship, which also increased the fatigue, may have cracked the engine's cylinder head. Despite these claims, there is no official statement about the cause of the problem and whether it is solved. The complement of the Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killers is about 20 person. The vessel has a length of 44 meters, a beam of 7 meters and a drought of 2.4 meters. Its displacement is 230 tons. The combined diesel and gas configuration propulsion system consists of two Caterpillar C32 diesel engines and two GE LM500 gas turbines. The top speed of the Chamsuri 2 class is 41 knots. The STX Radarsys SPS 100K surface search radar has a range of over 55 km. It is also used for navigation purposes. The LIG Next One SPS 540K 3D surveillance radar has identification friend or foe and moving target indicator features. Its range is nearly 150 km. The KU band Saab Seros 200 is used for the fire control function of the 76mm gun. It is effective against both surface and air targets. The feature which makes the Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killers innovative is undoubtedly the 130mm Pion guided rockets. It is effective in a range of between 3 to 20 km. This guided rocket uses GPS INS guidance during the mid course and finds its target with its infrared image seeker during the terminal phase. The P Yong can engage three targets simultaneously. The rocket has an 8 kg warhead. The Yande Via made 76mm naval gun has a rate of fire of 100 rounds per minute. But its magazine contains 80 ready to fire ammunition. The maximum range of the gun is 16,300 meters. Some of its components, such as the barrel, are the same as on the Otto Malera naval guns. But most other subsystems are locally designed and built, such as the reloading system, control station and the hydraulics. Even though the Chamsuri 2 class is not a stealthy boat, the carbon composite turret of the gun has a small radar cross-section. Unlike the previous patrol boat killers of the ROKN, the 12.7mm K6 machine gun of the Chamsuri 2 class are fitted on remote control weapon stations. So they can automatically track a target via data from the vessel's radars and electro-optic sites. It not only increases accuracy but also improves the gunner's safety. Equipping a fast attack craft with guided rockets instead of anti-ship missiles is a highly innovative approach. This feature makes the Chamsuri 2 class a tailored naval vessel for a specific mission. It is designed to deal with small fast attack crafts and air cushion vehicles. And the Korean People's Navy has plenty of them. Since they were created according to the Jean École doctrine, the current missile boats generally carry anti-ship missiles with long range and heavy warheads. Their primary mission is to attack the major surface combatants and big merchant ships. But the ROKN has to deal with countless 50 to 100 ton boats and vessels of the Korean People's Navy. With its 250 kg warhead and 180 km range, the SSM-700K Heson is unnecessarily powerful and expensive for the job. The low-cost 130mm Pion guided rocket offers an excellent price-performance ratio for such missions. Of course, South Korea is not the only country working to solve this problem. For example, Thales UK developed the Martlet light missile for the same job. Currently, the Wildcat HMA-2s of the Royal Navy can carry 20 of them against small surface threats. Also, the Brits are working on a ship-based variant of the Martlet. The US Navy attempted to use the anti-ship variants of some anti-tank missiles on the literal combat ships. Besides, Turkey is testing the naval variants of the UMTAS anti-tank missiles and the Jirit guided rockets on its newly developed unmanned surface vessels. We should add that many countries have used anti-tank missiles for close-quarter anti-ship missions for many decades. So, we may say the South Korean concept is the new trend. But there is also a severe objection here. Many naval experts claim that a manned surface vehicle is an ancient solution for being the carrier platform of anti-ship guided rockets. 
According to them, the future is in unmanned air and surface vehicles. It seems that risking a 20-person crew and a 230-ton boat is unnecessary for such missions. So, why does the ROKN think otherwise? The definition of patrol boat killer may be the best answer to this question. The tension between North and South Korea is highly similar to the First Cold War. Protecting its borders against possible North Korean aggression is not the only concern of South Korea. A simple incident between these enemy brothers can cause a catastrophic war. Seoul has to be cautious. The Republic of Korea Armed Forces should not only deter North Korean border violation attempts, but also prevent a possible crisis from turning into a full-scale war. For this challenging job, the human factor is essential. The US unmanned combat aerial vehicle operations in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria show that the operators, who sit in front of a screen thousands of kilometers away, cannot assess the situation correctly. Many times, they cause dramatic collateral damage and hit the wrong targets. Lucky for them, these mistakes did not have severe consequences for them and their country. The South Koreans do not have this luxury. We can say that the healthiest assessment is still done in the scene, not in front of a screen. Patrolling around a possible crisis zone and killing the threat still requires human presence. The South Korean skippers have to be there to feel the situation and give the best judgment, which sometimes includes sacrificing themselves in the name of the lesser evil. Designing a boat that's not stealthy also indicates this approach. The Chamsuri 2 class was not essentially created to go to war, but to prevent it. It says, I'm here, do not dare any further. Many hotspots in the world require this type of responsibility and naval vessels. Trusting the judgments of the operators sitting on a screen may cause big catastrophic incidents. So, according to our analysis, the South Korean choice of using a man boat as a carrier platform for the guided rocket is not a result of an archaic tactical thought, but a necessity. Also, many countries need this type of boat to prevent escalation of the current disputes. The Chamsuri 2 class patrol boat killer is the pioneer of a new naval vessel type and we think that many countries would follow this new trend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.